Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for part two of the uh, VR tutorial in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the in the first part I mentioned uh, the Oculus Tray Tool and the Oculus app itself and the various uh, settings that I use to get the game smooth. Uh, the next thing is um, the in-game menu. So here's some, here's, I've got the, the game open now. So I'll show you and I'll explain to you why I use certain settings and how it works. You know, this, this is getting me Lowest is around 38 in cities uh, and up to about 50, 55 outside of the cities, okay? But um, so this is like really the, the sweet spot for the 380 that I've got and the, uh, the i9 car that I've got, CPU I've got. So this is like for the high-end spec um, models and I'm getting a good result. I, of course, I want the game to be optimized and I'm not entirely happy with the performance. I mean, today I was... So I, I have all of this down and then like yesterday I was making videos, it was great. And then today I sat down to play for an hour, it was crashing. And the, I don't know if it's an Oculus Quest 2 problem, uh, but the thing is that the, the, the Quest 2 works flawlessly on iRacing and stuff and R Factor 2 that I play. So I think it must be the sim affecting it somehow. Um, so I don't know, hopefully, I don't know if people have like better success with the Reverb G2, I'd love to hear that. I've got mine on order, but it's going to be a while to come. So I'd love to hear your comments or your thoughts if if the G2 crashes like that quite often with, with the sim. Um, so we'll start with the render scaling. I've got it at 90 because the reason why is because there's a, about four things that hit the performance quite hard when you change them up. That's render scaling and that's also um, buildings volumetric clouds and ambient occlusion which is further down the list which i'll come to soon but i want to talk about uh, render scaling so render scaling is basically it's really kind of like a major big deal in the terms of resolution so what i like to do because i've got the resolution so high in the oculus app i tend to have the render scaling at 90 because it just takes away the edge of that the problems with the frame rates and the performance at 100 of the, on these settings. You can experiment with this, and if you really want to have it at 100, you can. But the reason why I don't is because I have all these other settings on either ultra or high, um, and that because they're so well defined, it comes out so clearly anyway, even set at 90. But you can try it at 100. But like I like to have it with absolutely no breaks in frames because I want to have the, ultra, the most realistic flight I can. So I have it, um, when I'm looking down on the earth, you know, even from like 200 feet, it's smooth completely because it has to be for me to really consider it, um, you know, viable to, to spend all my time on. I mean, I'm playing eye racing loads and again, I love it. It's, I wish this game was like, would be like that. And I'm, I know I'm being, everyone's being a bit harsh on it, but like, it's a brilliant game, well, a brilliant simulator. And so I'm not going to, I'm not going to bitch about it, but I would do wish it was better optimized. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to throw that in there. Um, uh, Anti-lasing and TAA. Uh, terrain level detail is 120. I am into terrain. I love the, I, I think it's important when the terrain looks detailed. I love clouds too. We'll come to that soon. Uh, the buildings are on high. The reason why I have it on high is because there's a significant performance issue on these on this section. So buildings, I slick down to high. It looks still looks brilliant because you've got the textures at high anyway. Uh, trees are really important to me because I love the nature and I love obviously flying through the different landscapes. So I want to have the ultra trees. The grass and bushes, sometimes I have it on ultra, but usually on high because um, if you have it on high, it just takes, again, it doesn't need to be on ultra if you've got those trees at ultra, in my opinion. The object level of detail are 120. So those two, you could probably, I've played with it up to like 170, but again, I don't like, I, I want exact, ex, you know, especially smooth frame rates in this game throughout. I don't want to be, choosing when and where I can have them, if that makes sense. Volumetric clouds is on high. Now I love clouds like everybody else, but um, to me, the fact that I've got the texture super sampling at full eight by eight, and I've got the other textures at high, I feel like that makes up for that. So uh, to me, it looks like it's an ultra level cloud, but you're using the texture uh, settings rather than the actual cloud settings, which tends to hit the performance less. Now I'm just doing this off my experience. So like, if you guys disagree with me, that's cool. Um, but I'm just saying what I've experienced so far. Uh, texture resolution at ultra, like I said, uh, the anastropic uh, filtering at 16 times, texture super, super sampling at eight by eight, texture synthesis at ultra. Water waves are high, because I, I love water and most of the world is actually made of water. So I think it's an important thing to have and top quality, but that's just what I like. Shadow maps at full 2040, terrain shadows 2040, the contact shadows and ultra. Now the reason why I have the shadow maps and the contact shadows 
and all the textures highest is because I notice when you're flying around and you're, in the, and you're over water and you see the reflections of the mountains and that. And you can, I don't know if you notice this, but you can see like small gra uh, grains, like it's like grainy on the water. And that's, I think that's linked to the um, the shadows and the, the texture of the shadows. So I've messed around with that, especially because I was bothering me and I got rid of it. So the reason, I, the, way, the way I got rid of it is I just bumped up the reflections to ultra down here and those, the water to high and the texture to this ultra and even the contact shadows to ultra, those are things that all affect that, that graininess that you'll notice on the water sometimes. Um, shadow maps, I've said them. Okay, contact shadows, ultra, water. A windshield effects is arguable. I don't, it's, it doesn't do much to it, so I have an ultra. <laughs> Ambient occlusion is another one that's a hog. Uh, so I look at that load, that's the lowest setting I've got, I think. Let's have a look. That's the lowest, I think that's the lowest setting. Yeah, it is. Is ambient occlusion because it's such a it's such a performance lagger. It's a gobbler. It likes to gobble up all the uh, the CPU and GPU power. I don't know what it is, but it's hungry. So I I turn that down to medium, and that seems to be really good. Reflections ultra linked to that water problem I was telling you about. I just think the reflections are really cool. Light shafts on ultra bloom and on and glass cockpit refresh rate at high. Now I've heard, I don't know, I've read in the forums that this actually helps to spend the performance, but I don't know. So I've got on at high, but so far so good. I mean, you know, when it works, it's brilliant. It's absolutely breathtaking. But when it doesn't, it's a real pain in the ass and it gets you really <laughs> stressed out and frustrated. So it's, it happens up and downs. I'm sure you guys are all experiencing the same thing as me. It's a great sim. I think we can get it going. Um, and with these settings, hopefully that'll help you to get yours matched to mine if you've got the similar, a similar system to mine. But please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, I hope, I'm just trying to help, you know, help everyone get going with this. And uh, I appreciate everybody else's help. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments if, if the Reverb G2 is crashing at all randomly when you connect. I noticed, and also also with your Quest 2 experiences, like does it crash when you load it up, when you get it going, and then like does it freeze in, in, the, in the actual goggles and then it doesn't start and you've got to refresh, you restart the goggle, the, the headset? Or, you know, tell me about that if you, if you want to share your thoughts because um, I'm sure we can figure this out if we just keep testing it. Okay, guys, thanks for your time and I uh, hope this helps. Cheers.